morning, guys. It's about 7 a.m. We're just on site. We're breaking down the tent, clearing some items up. And just a quick one. As you can see, we're powering everything up here. And as you can see, we're powering all our devices here. We've got everything plugged in that you can imagine. And we've got the fridge plugged in. Nice, cool two Celsius. We've got a power bank that we're charging. That's plugged in into, uh, we've got these four USB ports, you see. Which is pretty cool. Um, we've got the GoPro charging. And this is a rechargeable GoPro kind of handheld stick. We've got our internet charged, fully charged at 100%. And I had my phone, which I'm holding to record this, on one of these wireless outputs earlier as well. So, and whilst we're doing all that, let's have a look here. 86%, which is awesome. And you can see all the various loads. We've got the DC load. AC is nothing on that one. Um, and then we've got the PV slash car. So this is the solar panel. It's pulling in about 29 uh, watts of power at the moment. Obviously that's gonna go up as the sun rises. You can see the sun just coming up over the mountains. And we've got the panel rigged up beautifully on the roof. So that just fits really nice. That can be positioned in so many different ways, but we've just found pretty. I mean, to be honest, if I actually stood that up and angled it, we'd be probably pulling in more power right now. And I'll, I might have a look into that in a minute. Cable's just neatly looped in through the side there. We could actually have wired that through the roof. We've got twin sunroofs in this vehicle, so multiple options or you know I could have just laid the solar here and angled it towards the sun but uh, we'll, we'll play around with that later but yeah just uh, just really wanted to give a quick recap on the uh, AC200 Max Bluetti I mean this has just been amazing like I say we've had that fridge on all night and the internet box and uh, you know, we woke up in the morning, it was only on 80%, 86, no, 85%. So it's already back up to 86. You can see the solar is actually increasing in power now. It's now up to 35. So very cool, really, really a great piece of kit. I think this will be used on a lot more trips. Thank you, Blue Etty. And guys, links are in the description. If you're interested, check it out. Go and have a look at Blue Etty. Take a look at their products and you can get this bad boy and the 200 watt solar panel directly from them. Have a look at the links, check it out now. Cheers guys. Hi guys, we've just made a few adjustments. So I've just basically put the panel up on its side, concertinaed it, sun's coming over the mountain and we've pretty much doubled our, oh over doubled the output. Look, we're getting 61. Um, 60 PV coming through the solar, which is awesome. So, a quick bit of arrangement. There you go, panels there. To be honest, you can elevate it at more of an angle using these legs. You've got these three stirrups here, and you just pop them down, and uh, you can get it at a sort of 45 degree angle. But it, I'll be honest with, with you guys, just because I've only got a small step here, it's a bit fiddly for me getting up onto the roof. So I, if I flip this whole unit around, I'd basically be able to do it. So I'm happy with that for now. The van's at a slight angle anyway, that part of the roof. So, so there it is. That is the solar panel in full action out here off grid you know we're literally in the mountain valley we've got a huge mountain on that side massive mountain on that side i mean this 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 is a campsite but 
it's really just a stopover. I mean, it's just off a road in the mountain valley pass. And it's just a, a little cut. I think this was just a farm cottage, basically. And the old lady, absolutely lovely host, just lets uh, folks that are going up into the mountains or whatever they're, you know, hanging out here, just um, rent the spot. It's not a busy spot. It's it's pretty rural and off-grid, as you can see. I mean, it's the grass is not kept. We've got a stream just down here. In fact, let me just show you that. Look at Neo going nuts doing his morning ritual. I mean, look how beautiful, what a spot this is, guys, to wake up to as well. Beautiful little stream, which goes down to the massive lake. You've also got a waterfall down the end there. Let's see if I can do it. There you go. That's the waterfall, just there. So that's really beautiful. So we're going to crack on with our little bit of fun, enjoy uh, just getting our stuff sorted out here and we'll get you a nice bit of breakfast. Alright, see you in a bit.
guys, you won't believe where we are now. Check this out. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. And I bet this looked amazing yesterday. <laughs> but there we go, we're right on the Welsh coast. Absolutely fantastic views. Look how amazing that is. Absolutely fantastic views. I mean, yes, it is slightly overcast, but just to be here, out in nature with the van, looking great. Jen there, just chilling. How was it, Jen? Driving so we can face into the side. It's the lot to this is a trust and then ten to six free. Ten to six free, something. Uh -huh. From close oh then no we need to look at it. Oh yeah. There's a machine over there. Get your key. Yeah. Just come have a look at the um the, the sign, what it says. Okay. Amenities. Okay. Please continue to do. Okay. That's just for toilet information. Okay, yeah, you lock your car. Okay, we are at the Farrenbaum Coast. Here's the information board. Apparently, this is one of the longest 
Second World War coastal defences in the UK. It's about 2.3 kilometres. Um, yeah, 2.3 kilometres along the beach. Look, this fort. I think it's for the defense show, defense soldier. When they're guarding the coast, that's where the base set. Nina, Nima, Nima, where are you? Good boy. It's the mountain behind, uh, in front of us. Heel. Heel. Here, baby. Come this way. This way. What happened? This way, Nina. Look at this coast, coastline. Isn't this spectacular?
the information board of Firebomb, Firebomb Beach and uh, apparently we are at here at this area Hey guys, here we are down in Fairbourne we actually didn't go to Barrenworth, this is Fairbourne Beach and it's just amazing I know it's a bit of an overcast day but I'm not I'm not moaning at all Neo, come in come in get him on a leash as locals come in but what what an amazing time absolutely beautiful catch you soon Well guys, this has been an amazing trip, right Jen? Yeah, it's very relaxing. I mean, we're just in such a beautiful place. I'll give you a quick last look. Check that out. It's just so picturesque. It's just so amazing here. I've got to say, this is probably one of my most favorite places that I've been, uh, been to. Really lovely. Um, definitely check it out guys, if you uh, want to get somewhere really beautiful that's really kind of rural feeling i'm sure it does get really busy in peak summertime but right now right here today it's just peaceful calm and beautiful so that's the highlight thanks for following us on this great journey we're going to get back on the road head home and we'll see you on the next adventure take care guys bye for now